What's up guys? In this video, I'm going to show us how to do knee raises. So various progressions we, we, we can accomplish. They're helping us work our abs, rectus abdominis. So for beginners, you can start on the ground and perform some kind of crunch. So we have, what you want to do is to first pre-activate the abs by getting the shoulder blades off the ground, get your chin to, to, to your upper chest or close to it. And then what you want to do is just lift those knees up, tap the ground with your heels. Never rest those heels properly on the ground like that. Just keep tapping, control down slowly. Focus on controlling the weight of your feet as they drop. Quick up, control, quick up, control. Now, if you find that you can now do 15, 20 repetitions of this with ease, you might begin making it harder. So what you do, you can use a bench like this. I'll use this. Use your bench, get on your bench. Get down on your bench, just like that. And then what you want to do is, again, pre-activate. And you see how my feet are just dangling in the air? Crunch up. The fact that your feet can drop lower, though you'll be putting more weight on your upper abs. If you don't have a bench at home, as long as you have a bench, like a gym bench, you can use, find any surface real, really where your feet can go down. It could be the edge of your bed, whatever it is. You could do it here. Again, feet can drop a bit lower. Keep crunching. Again, if you want to begin making it harder, you can even get those feet slightly out. Increase on that lever. More weight. All right. The important thing to make sure is when you get down, especially when you increase the lever by getting your feet outwards, you do not want um, your back, you don't want this space to begin developing. You don't want this space to begin developing. Your starting position should be first. And that's why you get your chin to your upper chest so that there's no space down there. And then in that position is where you begin raising. So knee raises have now transformed into leg raises when you, when you make it harder, which is, what to, which is what you want to do. Keep making it harder for yourself. So now you can perform um, 15, 20 repetitions of the knee raises and the leg raises. Uh, you've moved on to leg raises in the flat position. You can now begin elevating yourself. So if you have some kind of bars like this, it could be two, two study boxes or two study chairs, which you can either rest your forearms on like this, or you can actually get up like this, whichever works for you. This is harder than this. So you can move starting from this, Rest your hands there. Then you want to get into a hollow body position. What does that mean? You get up and first thing which you do, my shoulders are not shrugged like that. Activate the core by squeezing downwards. So I'm really already, already engaging my core by squeezing downwards, feet together, nice and proud. Then I bend my knees slightly and this is how I start. Control it down. Now, some people just keep swinging like this. That's one mistake, no. You're using momentum, you're cheating. Don't cheat if you want to make progress. One builds stronger abs. So, hollow body position, squeeze downwards. You should feel tension at, this, uh, at, at your side if you're actually engaging your core well. Serratus and uh, your serratus anterior muscles are part of your core. Squeeze, bend the knees, quick up, and then swing. Remember, you are pulling your lower body with your abs. You're not using your hip flexors. So another mistake people make is they, you find them just doing this. You find them doing this. No, this is using your hip flexors. You want to get, for the abs to work, you have to get a slight, um, uh, a slight hi hyper ex extension, slight hyper extension at your hip joint and then forward. Extension, flex. One more time. 
hollow body position, squeeze, feet together, bend those knees. Hyper extend a little bit to the bottom. All right, you can now do 15, maybe even 20 repetitions of the knee raises and this position, you want to begin doing leg raises, making the liver longer to put more tension on your abs. Still same basics, hollow body position, but this time slight bend in the knees, put the feet together. One more. Again, you want to make sure that you are not putting, um, you're not using too much of momentum. So as you swing up, control down, swing up, control down. Another trick which some people use to get there is to get between, to get from the knee raises to the leg raises is the use one leg at a time. So you do that whole body position. One leg at a time, that can also work. Well, whatever works for you, you can either jump straight from the knee raises to the leg raises, or you can have that intermediate motion. Now, remember, you can either do that or do it full up still, hold up, hollow body position, not shrugged. Hollow body means engage that core and bend the knees. Elbow should remain straight full time. Or All right, so if you feel you can now do 15 repetitions of this, you're really getting good at it. You want to begin challenging yourself more. And the hardest would really be you doing hanging knee raises. So you get to a bar, a high bar. Starting with the knee raises, what you want to do again, hollow body position, activate those abs, bend the knees. One more. Something which you need to know on the hanging knee raises, you need to make sure that you're controlling the swing. It's easier to swing when you're in the hanging position. So what, what, what I normally do is, even if there's a slight swing, I make sure that I first reach the end of the swing before I bring my legs up. So I said I'm not using momentum. Maybe just let me just show that to you one, one more time. I get onto the bar, try and control that swing, activate that core, bend the knee slightly, all the way up, hyper extend. Remember, you can also do the leg raises. Ah, I'm a bit tired. Yeah, but that's the harder, the, the harder part of the motion. And the swing gets, becomes more apparent when you're doing the leg raises. So you want to make sure you swing those legs up, control down. You may find yourself swinging, stabilize, get a point where the swing is not working in your favor. Then that's when you get your legs up once again. All right, so those were knee raises, leg raises, whatever you want to call them. If you're looking for more workouts like this to get you lean, strong, and healthy, check out the link right below. Till next time, peace. Ah, this leg